Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap for Wednesday, August 4th. Small green day today, plus $126.50. No bindy 90s. Uh, my biggest loser actually today was my pairs trade in the Russell versus the NASDAQ. I was looking for the NASDAQ to stray, stay uh, long and strong and the NASDAQ to get weak and the exact opposite happened. So uh, minus 5, 10, 50 on that one. Uh, on my runners, Twitter minus 432, AMD minus 40, BA minus 470, Uber minus 16, and then dug myself out of a little hole uh, later in the morning. Zoom plus 465, Netflix plus 590, and the NASDAQ plus 540. So let's go and I'll show you what we did here. Let's start with, uh, well, I'm, I've got AMD on the screen, so I'll start here. So AMD had this uh, initial push up. So when it pulled back here, got long looking for a continuation higher, it bounced up. I got out of some and then it started to roll over. And I thought maybe that's all it had. Uh, AMD's uh, very extended on the daily chart. Uh, it did end up ripping up and going higher, but I cut out and ended up taking a, uh, a $40 loss on the trade. I've just, I've, I've really been focusing on cutting my losers quick and, um, and so I did it here. It didn't work out in this instance, but I know the way to consistent profits is to make sure you're cutting your losers quick. So you win some, you lose some. Uh, Boeing, I did let it run a little longer than I would like, uh, and it turned into a losing trade. Had this real big spike out of nowhere. There was some news about the 737 MAX getting certified in China. Anyway, this spiked up with massive volume. So when it pulled back here, it got long. Caught a nice profit here. I think those options were up 40 or 50 percent right here at the top. I got out of some, and then when it pulled back, I reloaded, looking for another push. And as you can see, that didn't happen. So just cut, kept coming down. I added here, caught this bounce, so I took a little profit off of that piece. And then when it rolled over, I just cut out. So ended up taking a loss on Boeing. Uh, unfortunately, I had a really nice profit there, but I was expecting more. Uh, Uber was basically a scratch. Uber ahead of my screen because they announced earnings after the bell today. So if we take a look at Uber, uh, Uber had this big down move and, and with volume, it bounced right here, got short, got out of some down here. I kept waiting for this thing to break and it just kept chopping, 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 chopping. So when it bounced up, I was just done with it, cut out here and basically scratched the trade minus 16 in Uber. Uh, okay, and then my later morning trades, first one in Zoom Zoom. Uh, Zoom had a big push, big spike in volumes, so just on this little pullback, got long here, caught that little run up for plus 465. Uh, Netflix did something similar. So Netflix made this big push back up to highs of day. I was looking at getting long right here. I did not pull the trigger. Uh, push through and then when it popped back up and pulled back here that's where I got long and I cut that run up there for a nice uh, profit of 590 and then lastly the Nasdaq 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 so the Nasdaq which I was looking for a fall apart earlier in the morning showed uh, it wasn't gonna do that pushed all the way back up to near highs of day in in positive territory so when it was bouncing around here I think it was right here I ended up getting long. It kept holding, uh, holding uh, positive, positive. So got long here, just consolidating, looking for an upside continuation runner, and boom, it hit. And I think I got out of my last piece at 15.010, so almost tagged the top. Uh, so nice trade there for plus 540. So small green day on the day. I'll take it 126.50. Price action was really goofy this morning with the. Uh, the way a lot of the stocks were acting compared to the broad market didn't have the uh, just didn't have the flow of the market with me this morning. I definitely le uh, lost out on a lot of long opportunities early in the morning. Uh, for example, I was looking at potentially getting long Tesla right here on this pullback would have worked out fantastic. Didn't take it. Uh, talked about it. So hopefully some other folks in the room caught it. Um, I was looking at, um, oh, I think I was looking at Facebook. Anyway, I, I can't remember. Oh, yeah, Facebook right here as it pulled back. I was, I was talking about Facebook, and that obviously worked out fantastic. But 
Uh, I had a little bit of a bias uh, earlier in the morning with the uh, with the way the stocks were acting with the price action with the with the Nasdaq kind of choppy to down the S and P Russell Dow they were all kind of weak so I was really looking for more downside didn't happen so I missed out on some of those long trades but came out with a small green day in the end so. I'll take it. We will be streaming live tomorrow on Thursday. We are offline on Friday. So we'll look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. Take care.